안녕하세요. This is Jia. Today we'll be making bacon kimchi bokkeumbap. If you have overripe kimchi in your fridge, just stir fry it softly with bacon. You will be amazed by how good it tastes. Sour kimchi and fatty ingredient goes pretty well. Today we'll be using bacon. Thinly slice the scallion. This will be used for garnish. Scallion and green onion are actually the same thing. Scallion, which is smaller than green onion, is normally used for garnish, while green onion flavors the dish. I'm going to chop mainly the white part of green onion. I like to use thick bacon when making this dish. Cut the bacon into small pieces. The savory flavor from the bacon goes great with the spicy and tangy kimchi. Heat the pan over medium heat and add 1 teaspoon of vegetable oil. Add the bacon to the pan and stir fry until crispy. The flavor of cooked bacon and overripe sour kimchi will make this dish delicious. If your kimchi is not sour enough, you may add 1 tablespoon of rice vinegar to it. Add green onion to the pan. And stir fry for additional 3 minutes. Add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. And chopped kimchi to the pan. There is one tip to make a delicious kimchi stir-fried rice. Cook the ingredients in a medium to medium-low heat for about 4 to 5 minutes. Then, add the cooked rice to the pan. I'm using leftover cooked rice. If you are using an instant rice, you may add it directly without cooking. Mix the rice with all the ingredients making sure there is no lumps. This is optional. Add a little bit of chili flakes, Korean kuchukaru to it. Add one tablespoon of sesame oil and scallion at the end. I personally think that the bacon and the kimchi bokkeumbap is a perfect match. And this kimchi bokkeumbap would make a perfect holiday dinner. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you on my next video.